Okay guys, we're doing our little experiment here with uh, facing the camera right now down the hole on my telescope uh, like I showed in the first video of the daylight thing. So we're trying the nighttime thing and it looks like we're getting stars showing up because um, you can see them. Um, I can actually see them in the display on my camera as I'm looking at it. Um, so this actually uh, is going to be a feasible idea. Now I am up at uh, 200x uh, on the digital zoom part uh, of my uh, camera and it's uh, JVC model 440 that I'm using uh, so it actually is showing uh, the stars there because you can just see them you know they kinda got a little twinkle to them let's see if I can zoom out a little bit here and clear things up more maybe So it looks like the best is going to be around the 200. So I'm just going to move away from the camera so there's no vibrations from my deck because I'm on my wooden deck. And I'll just stand still here and uh, we'll see what all it can pick up. So I guess what our next stage is going to be, now that we know that this, that this is feasible um, for actually having the camera facing the inside of my telescope, because this is a ref, uh, reflector telescope. <coughs> so what I had talked about in my first video was about building either a very large tube uh, with a mirror in it or a box with a mirror uh, that I can have on a tilt type swivel device so I can get all different kinds of angles and be able to zoom right in on the large uh, mirror. And when I mean large, I'm talking probably uh, two feet by two feet if it's gonna be a square, um, or I'll probably go maybe 20 inch across or 24 inch across uh, on a round mirror. Uh, we'll see what I can find for a mirror, uh, cause I'm gonna try and do this on the cheap side and you know check out places like secondhand shops and that for a mirror for cheap, and then build my box or, or tube accordingly and uh, we'll uh, definitely do that and see how how much better we get because right now we're, we're looking down the throat of a four and a half inch tube uh, on my telescope and uh, it's actually working so this seems to be a very uh, viable idea to try uh, it looks like our cloud cover is now blocking stuff but um, anyway so uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, leave your comments. Um, check out my first video if you didn't see uh, it, and because um, it's on uh, something new and different with a telescope and camera or some title. Anyways, I'll have uh, what I'll do is I'll put the name title in the description of the first video for those of you that haven't seen the first one, but you're definitely seeing this one if you're looking at it now. And uh, so I can actually now pick up stars with my camera using the camera facing the mirror inside my telescope um, whereas just the camera alone won't do the stars at all so but uh, so this looks like a pretty cool idea so we're going to continue on with the project so when I have that thing built um, I'll definitely be doing a daytime video and a nighttime video of it to show you how it all works so uh, anyways thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one